Hey friends, welcome back to the Krusty Cranks TV, lure painting and bait making. All right, today we're going to do, uh, and I already created one of these once before, but I didn't do a video on it. I started to do a video, but the quality of it was just looking like crap, so I trashed it, and I knew I was going to be doing another one of these, so. All right, so today we're doing the Krusty Fire Tiger CC053. And the colors that we're going to be using, of course, I already got my bait primed up, and uh, I already got my uh, got to put my uh, pearl white on there. So that's next. I use titanium, as usual. I use the titanium golden for my base coat, and I'm going to be using pearl white, Create Tech or Wicked colors, pearl white, and then we're going to hit it with some transparent yellow bright yellow and then we're going with uh, either the fluorescent green first or the uh, um, transparent orange I'm not sure yet which one I'm going to go with first probably the orange um, I don't know usually I try to go from light colors to dark colors but when you're working with greens and oranges it don't matter you still gotta clean out your brush pretty good and then finally we're gonna put the tiger stripes and bl opaque black all right so those are the colors we're using today and uh let's get started all right so first i'm gonna do is uh i always like to put my colors over to the right i always get my colors out first when i know what i'm gonna be doing and uh that way i got all my colors right there ready to go and uh i got a couple of baits to do so I'll probably just do this one real quick with a little bit of pearl white. Don't think it's going to take much. I just put enough pearl white on there just to give it a little bit of a pearl essence to it. It's not even that hit, not even that heavy. Most of the colors are going to cover it over, but the transparents will kind of have a little bit of a pearlized color to them, a little bit. So, get that all pearled up, looking good. And this is, it's really a fairly simple bait. It's just, you got to do a lot of brush cleaning. A couple colors. And that's why I go ahead and put my yellow on first because greens and yellows blend together and orange and yellows blend together. So, all right, and I'm not even going to really um, worry too much about how clean this is. Let's see, let me grab, let me grab another and put this guy on here and blow off this pearl on this one since I got some left. A little bit left. If you're interested in some of these lures, you can find us on Facebook. We've got a Krusty Cranks store on Facebook, and we got a Krusty Cranks website, krustycranks.com. So, um, if you haven't had a chance to go check it out, go check it out. You'll see some of the lures I'm going to be putting up on the site. And uh, if you're just interested in watching and you want to purchase some of these lures, by all means, go ahead and give us. A Give us an order and we'll get it right out to you. 
All right, so got that done. I'll spray this off for a little bit, the rest, and get this brush completely emptied out. Looks like my tip might be drying a little bit, so I'm gonna have to wipe that off real quick. That's one thing about the pearls, it can't sit in your gun very long. If, if it does, it's gonna, it's definitely gonna dry up on your tip. Goes it's coming out now. All right, let's uh let's go ahead and get the orange one first, and we won't have as much cleaning. I'm sorry, the yellow. I mean, let's get the yellow one. This yellow, bright yellow, almost looks fluorescent. Take this bait off so I don't hit it accidentally. You can see, it's almost got a greenish tint to it already. Once it goes on top of that pearl white, it really makes it pop out. Nice coat of yellow there. Now I'm not even going to dry that. I'm just going to go right to the right to the orange and that helps your blend a, a little bit when you're blending two colors together is if you um, leave it white or leave it wet I mean and if you leave it wet a little bit of course by the time I get this rest of this yellow out of here it's probably going to be dry but it'll still be somewhat damp I'm just going to wipe out the bowl. Not even going to worry about it too much. And go right to my orange. A little bit of orange. Back flush it a little bit. Mix the rest of that yellow in. Turn the spray down, turn the pressure down a little bit. So I have a little bit of control over it. All right, I'm just gonna hit that orange right on the belly. Face. All right, and then I am going to dry that. And we'll hit it one more time, just deepen that orange up a little bit.
Okay, next we're going to put the fluorescent green on. And um, I have to show you guys something. When I uh, pulled my colors out, I pulled transparent orange. And I apologize, I had to use the uh, neon orange. U.S. Art Supply Airbrush Neon Orange is what I used. Um, actually, when I sprayed the transparent on there, I realized, I said, wait a minute, something ain't right. And uh, I realized I had the wrong paint. So luckily, I didn't have the brush all cleaned out yet completely. So um, just dab a little of this fluorescent orange, neon orange in there. And uh, you can use fluorescent orange as well. Um, and then I just went on with the, uh, just give it a little spray over top of it just to put that brightness in it. When I looked at it, I was like, what? Something ain't right. What am I doing here? I've been painting a lot of baits, so I get a little mixed up when I get going on a bunch of different ones. But anyway, next color we got going on is the fluorescent green. Createx fluorescent green. Is our top coat color. Get that spraying through real good. Turn it down. I'd always rather have have it turned down and be able to just control a little more spray than to have it blasting out of there and. not have any control over how far down it goes and then on this fluorescent green I, I usually like to hit it and uh, dry it a little bit and then put more on top of it because you don't want it to run it is kind of thin and you can also just hit it with air but when you're running real low pressure very little air comes out of there so I'm going to hit it with the dryer one time. Just to keep it from running. It's got to be a lot heavier, so I don't want it to run. And I'd rather put it in on in small thin layers. Build it up to what I want. Just building my color. Spray around the eyes. Try it one more time. Okay, one more time down the back. Just get a little deeper. That fluorescent does pop once you get the epoxy on it too. All right, I like that. I'm going to stay with that. Okay, got my tiger stripe stencil on there. Pressure down, got opaque black. I'm oh, coming up a little bit right there. Okay, give that a little heat set. Almost, 
I don't want to jinx myself, but it's almost perfect every time. All right, get the other side on there. I just cut some new ones for this smaller size bait because I was trying to use the bigger, the bigger stencil, and it was just getting too hard to keep it lined up because it was just way too big for that bait. So I cut me a smaller one out since I knew I had a couple of these to do. And then I always kind of put a tab of tape on there just just so I got something to grab a hold of to get it off of there. It's not so easy on the getting it off the paper. Okay. So I'll flip her over. In my pad. And I'll just try to line the center up. Try and line the center up where the colors blend together. So I use the center of my stencil. Kind of the center of the waves and I'll line them up where the colors blend together and it usually helps me hit it every time and if it's off just a hair it's no big deal stripes all right I'm gonna clean this brush out and uh, bring you guys back okay almost uh, forgot to turn the camera back on all right so with uh, I already got my glue on there I just put a little dab on there and for this one we're using these iridescent red eyes super glue now, these eyes are adhesive but I always like to put a little super glue on them it just helps to make sure I had one fall off in my epoxy when I dipped it one time just because it wasn't pressed down all the way I guess it wasn't it wasn't just stuck in there like it should have been and uh, so I don't know if it was the adhesive came loose or if the uh, just wasn't stuck down all the way but I that's why I started using super glue because once that super glue sets on there for a minute and then I ain't gonna pop off all right there there it is here's the swim bait version of it so let me get some epoxy on it and we'll bring you back and I'll run through the colors again and we'll call this done all right, I'll bring you back, guys. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for this video, the Krusty Fire Tiger. Um, so let me run through the colors I used on this bait. Obviously, titanium white for a primer. Then I come on top of that with Wicked Pearl White. And then I put a base coat of transparent bright yellow over top of the pearl white. Next color I used was the... Uh, um, 
neon orange and I actually used orange and then realized it was neon orange so I just went back over top of it but you can get by with any kind of pearl orange or bright orange um, they all work the same pretty much okay but I used the US art air supply or airbrush uh, colors and uh, fluorescent green createx fluorescent green and then I used opaque black for the stripes um, so that's it for this bait guys um, I appreciate you guys watching and the new subscribers getting new subscribers almost every day now which is awesome I really appreciate it and I hope you guys are enjoying the videos I got a ton of videos coming up I'm just gonna start cranking them out as best I can um, and if you're into carving make sure you go over and check out my carving channel basswood carving um, where I do wood carving and stuff on there um, but yeah if you haven't give us a like please give us a like hit that subscribe button ring that notification bell and we'll see you on the next video and as always stay crusty my friends